Hi, this is Gene Sosia Jr.'s channel. Uh, got a little quick one for you today uh, on the MSI Command Center. I had a guy uh, asking me uh, uh, how to do, get into their overclocking program and uh, the quick one that they do. So, okay, I'm going to show you the overclocking genie. First of all, you're going to see I brought it up on the screen. And also, here's our friend here wanting to update. And remember what I told you in the other video, do not update it. We gotta wait till they get the bugs out of it. Okay, when you bring up MSI Command Center, this is what it's gonna look like. Right here you will see OC Genie, that's overclocking genie. You click on that. See right here this little button that lights up when you touch it. Now that's this depends on which uh, uh, motherboard you got. This is a 970. And if you got the heavy there's there's some bigger boards that this button is actually physically this button right here is physically on the board. So you pull, pull it on the side of your cabinet and you press the button like that. But on uh, your 970 and uh, boards along this line, your button is a one that's right here. You do it like this. And you would click on that and it would automatically go. Now what you get when you overclock uh, with this button is basically what it does is it takes the boost and does away with it, your turbo. Uh, that's on your chip, which is uh, usually about uh, 200 uh, megahertz uh, boost. And so what happens is this: this is a this is my computer's got a four gig processor, AMD 8350, and what it does, it's got a it's got a uh, 200 point uh, two, whatever you want to call it, 4.2. The, tur the two is a turbo boost. When you hit this here, you no longer have the turbo boost. It goes right to that. So then you're running 4.2 all the time. And it turns your pro uh, processor fan wide open. And that's basically all it does. It's not a, a great thing to do. Uh, if you really want to get into overclocking, uh, you can get into a different part of this board. And it will take you into it. And... Uh, you get, the thing is with overclocking, everybody makes it sound easy. If you don't have the cooling for it, you're in trouble. Um, you can, you know, plus you've got to know what you're doing, uh, pretty much. I mean, you've got to follow a pretty good, there's some pretty good tutorials on YouTube here to, to, to walk you through that stuff if you really want to get into that kind of, but first of all, you've got to make sure you've got cooling enough. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, anyway, that's all there is for today, and uh, I want to thank you for watching, and uh, please subscribe, hit like if you like, and uh, you all have a good day.